Genetically, I never thought I'd be able to get to my goal, but after trying every workout under the sun, I finally found the workouts that helped me get from this to this. Hello daily student family, welcome back to another video, I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all doing good and if you're new here, hello my name's Kimberly and I hope you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on so you get notified every single time I upload and give this video a massive thumbs up. Now as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how I lost £40 in two months. Now I always love to give you guys a backstory of my weight loss journey where I struggled to lose weight for over five years, where I was gaining £5, losing £5, gaining £10, losing £10. I was never at a position where I successfully lost a large amount of weight or even some weeks I'd have motivation for three days and it just would go after that. I could only ever keep myself motivated or seeing results for about two, three days before I was just no longer motivated anymore. And I finally found method, the routine and the workouts and tips that helped and worked for me. And I'm going to be giving you guys that, those in this video. Now don't forget to come over and follow my inspirational fitness page on Instagram as well as my podcast page as well. Now you guys know right before I give you the workouts that changed my life forever, I like to emphasize that a few tips that really helped me in my weight loss journey. I really struggled with maintaining my food routine, knowing what foods to eat and how to do that. I'm going to give you a few couple quick fire tips now that changed my life and drastically changed my results forever. So you guys know I lost nine pounds in week one. Nine pounds. First things first, I upped my fibre. I'm someone who didn't really monitor fibre until, guys, it's scientifically proven that people who have a higher fibre intake tend to be people who are associated with slimmer and leaner bodies, people who naturally consume a lot of fibre. And for me, I upped my fibre drastically. I started taking my chia seeds, chia seeds and water. So every single morning I started to do water and chia seeds. Now you can do it with chia pudding. There's so many different recipes and how you can incorporate chia seeds. But upping my chia seeds by 14 grams in week one, I lost nine pounds. Increasing my my fiber was an absolute lifesaver like I just mentioned sometimes I can have days where I, I have so much motivation on day one saying this is the time I'm really going to change my life I'm tired of losing five pounds gaining five pounds back losing ten pounds and gaining it back this is the time and by day three I'd be so hungry I'd lose motivation and I'd give up chia seeds increasing my fiber made me feel so full and for so much longer after over half to the days where I felt really hungry or really exhausted chia seeds helped me stay so much fuller documented scientific research, fibre is also known to decrease calorie consumption by 10%, which has proven many people to have just by increasing their fibre intake, nothing else, 4.5, 1.9 kilograms lost over three months. And that's with just increasing fibre alone. So imagine if you're doing your workouts like the ones I'll share in this video, doing your walking, adding incorporating everything, you can triple that. You can absolutely disguise the limit for the weight loss journey, which drastically changed my life. The other thing I think is so important and so key which I did take for granted so much before I had my successful weight loss journey is having eight hours of sleep or more. The importance of having a good amount of sleep is that the digestive processes actually increase and work much better overnight during the night when we're resting. The more hours of sleep I get the more hours I know my body's digesting and processing the food to get the pounds and the weight of burning those calories. Over eight hours of sleep is associated with 33% more likelihood of success successful weight loss. 33% more. So adding all these tips and all these things together is really what helped me push through to my goal of my weight loss journey. The final tip that really, really helped me is reducing my plate size. I didn't realise how much I determined how much I was going to eat per meal, whether lunch or dinner, by the size of my plate. When it's a big plate, I feel compelled to fill the plate, fill all the edges and Reducing my plate size to a smaller plate, half the size of my dinner plate before, I'd realise if I, even if I filled that smaller plate, by the time I start piling the food, I know I'm overdoing it and I'm consuming significantly less and that would be by designated plates. My food consumption, calorie consumption dropped drastically and that's really what contributed to my 40 pound weight loss in two months. It really did make a difference to my entire life to have more of an assigned smaller plate to reduce how much I was actually consuming and have a visualisation of this is how much less it needs to be 
than a massive over over portioned plate. Now you guys know I've looked at every single workout under the sun to try and find the best workouts that worked for me. The first workout is this workout. You guys know my thighs were rubbing, it was so painful. Anyone who's known the pain of thigh rub, it is so painful, especially on those days where you thought, I wanna wear a summer dress or shorts today and you come home with blisters in your thighs because it's so painful. And this workout shrunk my thighs down so much to the point where I had gone from baggy baggy trousers to shorts every single day and this workout is fantastic if you're not ready for a burn as in the next day when you're walking down the stairs and you're having to hold the handrails because it burnt that much this is the workout for that all the leg muscles will be burning it burnt like crazy and i was dripping with sweat after doing this workout my thighs and the way they went down was a scene that i had never thought my thighs could do in my entire life i just thought it was not bod possible for my physique because I've grown around grown up around women who have a larger frame or larger physique it's just genetically in my family and I went into thigh gap mode like this burnt like crazy and allowed my body to get to places and catapult my weight loss places I never thought it could go before and movements like this are absolutely stunning for the results of a weight loss journey and to the point where I would isolate this movement and on really busy weeks use it and utilize it to catapult and push my weight loss to exactly where it needed to be and I would repeat movements like that over and over again to get the ultimate burn even in times where I have a spare you know five ten minutes in the day five ten minutes in the week maximizing and optimizing because these movements are the ones that burn it I always emphasize how in a workout you 60% of that workout aren't even utilizing the best and most important movements but this workout really really does and I love it for that reason. Now I remember how much I was on the hunt for a stomach ab workout that would really cinch in my stomach to allow me to start wearing crop tops and summer dresses. It was so important for me to get the right one and I tried so many of the ones that didn't work or made me look square. It just wasn't working and this one I kid you not burns like crazy and gave me that such amazing results as you guys can see. I love this workout so much because it burns and the movements and the sequences are so key and allowed me to see results in the ways that I wanted to see my results. Movements like this honestly are a life changer. I would to the point where I would do my workout and I'd do my cardio whether it's a 15-20 minute walk at the end of the day and then I'd isolate this movement any free chances I get throughout the week to just really optimize and maximize that in a rep situation where I'd do 5 then 10 then 15 and 5 then 10 then 15 again on any spare days that I got a chance and my results jumped from nothing to absolutely smashing it within a few weeks thinking oh my gosh I'm going to get to my goal 10 times faster than I ever thought before. I paced myself but also gave myself the right movements that would catapult me to exactly where my results needed to be. To the point where this is now always and forever going to be part of my holy grail workouts especially for my stomach area it toned me so well and I made sure I was doing my cardio to push the fat off push the fat away and it really optimized my results in the whole journey itself. The next workout is this full body workout. You guys know I love a burn. I want something that's going to burn. I want something that's going to work. I don't like doing something forever and ever and ever and feeling like I'm not getting results and putting in so much hard work and it's just not working. This burns like crazy. Like I can't even begin to describe how everything in my body was burning. The sweat was dripping. The movements were just perfect to catapult and utilize the perfect routine to make my results happen. Movements like this, they're so, so good that allow me to see results in the way that I wanted to see them. It was getting my calorie burning up. It was getting my results to come through. This workout is absolutely fantastic and I found it because I was seeing so many other people before and after videos doing and trialing this workout and I thought if they have got that result that is crazy to me I'm going to try it and this workout just burns that much it's fantastic for an all-round really good push and burn and this is always going to be one of my holy grail workouts now guys I hope you have enjoyed today's video don't forget I always emphasize the fact that I was walking 15 to 20 minutes every day because although I was really wanting to burn my muscles because muscle tissue burns fat. I wanted to make sure I was also adding on a bit of cardio because cardio also helps push that fat calorie burning, that fat burning to the ultimum to get the best results. And it's really easy to do walking. It doesn't exhaust you at all that much. And it's really nice to also help reduce stress because reducing stress allows you to have more regulated eating, healthy eating. It really does promote that. And all of that together really allowed me to see the best results in the best ways possible. 
possible. Now if you have enjoyed this video and you want to see more of these where I give you guys my tips, the things that really work, the things that I don't think people say on a one-to-one -one sort of personal insider take do. Do give this video a massive thumbs up if you want to continue to see workouts that really really help me and some amazing tips that I have that I really want to share with you guys. So do give this video a massive thumbs up. Don't forget to come over and follow my inspirational fitness page on Instagram as well as my podcast page as well. Now I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye guys!